You're watching the Southland Conference on ESPN. Happy Saturday night from Abilene, Texas in the new temporary home of the Abilene Christian Wildcats, the Teague Special Events Center. Good matchup tonight. Tarleton State is in town at 1-1 one one against 4-0 Abilene Christian. Good evening, everybody. Welcome inside the studio where we're going to be all season long. Zach Carlisle alongside Owen Simpson. Glad to have you with us. So I think the biggest question for Abilene Christian coming into this season was who's going to score the basketball? Peyton Ricks lost to graduation. Here's Daniels, and there's a three, and maybe some of these questions have been answered so far. With starters and five off the bench, we'll keep our eye on Joe Pleasant tonight for ACU. He is out there on the floor right now, number 32, the junior out of Kansas. Here's Daniels. Open again, Mason's second attempt from three. This time connects, Abilene Christian. Obviously, you don't you want to protect your players, but also at the same time, you want them to go and fight for that basketball. A great leader for this team. Nine guys on this roster for Abilene Christian with three or more years of experience. It's a veteran team for Abilene Christian. Clay Gaiman missing a three. He hasn't done that a lot this year, but a second chance and another triple. This time, Reggie Miller from downtown. A great start from the perimeter for ACU. And you've got to love the confidence that these Wildcats have outside right now. That's Hicks into the paint, the freshman out of Arkansas. It's pleasant. Back out Daniels. And just five to shoot for ACU. And that almost went in from Daniels. And how does the smallest guy on the floor get the rebound and the putback? How about that? Reggie Miller running point guard duties. And an interesting combination with Logan McLaughlin out there on the floor. Had a remarkable night Tuesday against Howard Payne. Here's Pleasant to the rack and an add one. You said that Tarleton wants to be what Abilene Christian has become, and it took time for Joe Golding and his staff to put this together for the Wildcats. And that's a near turnover. Just 10 to shoot for ACU. Pleasant, three seconds, gonna have to force one. Got it! Oh, wow! How did he do that? You mentioned that 20-win thing. You know, they're going to have a few less games to get right. there. But it's going to be close. Uh, the way they've performed so far this season, that's a winning combination, not only for non-conference competition, but when it matters, too, when they joined the Southland back in January. It's Arion Simmons. Oh, and the putback, Emmanuel Allen. High flying. Goes up and down for ACU. Eight-point game, a minute and a half to go. This is a fun matchup that uh, is exciting that may, may become a little more normalized again with both of these teams in the Division I ranks. Daniels thought about it. Miller will take it. Knocks it down from the corner. For Tarleton, seven points, and all seven have come from the foul line. Abilene Christian currently with their largest lead of this game. Mason couldn't convert. Daniels spots up and hits a triple. Good momentum swing. Daniels known for his assist numbers since he's come to Abilene. Oh, a big time take. Jonathan Jackson with authority. It's a takeaway from Shamir Bogues who lays it in. Just when you think Abilene Christian's going to do it again. There's an alley-oop, and it's Allen living above the rim. High-flying acrobatics. The free throws. Look, it's an eight-point game. This thing is wide open still with 12 minutes to go. And that's something that Tarleton State wanted to have. Just make it a game for the final 12 minutes. They've done that. Now the question is, can they finally cut into this lead that they've been trailing in? It's been six, seven, eight, nine points really throughout the entire game. Makai Morris, that's a big three for Abilene Christian. 
And now you have to wonder if anyone else will get to 50. <laughs> Blake Tarleton's been going. They've really struggled at this end of the floor. Turnovers have been a problem too, 19 of them. Small floater, got it. This couple of minutes stretch down to the eight minute timeout, I think is very important for Tarleton to keep this thing close. And Tarleton has to do what they did in the first few minutes and that's avoid turnovers right there. And Simmons lays it in and transition inside Makai Morris. Opportunity for Tarleton and a big three. Boy, did they need that in the worst possible way uh, to, to get uh, a monetary benefit. They want these guys to play the best of the best, and no doubt they're going to do that. It's a, it's a heck of a schedule. 13 point game. Colton Cole, a hammer inside. ACU starting to turnover number 23 for the Texans. And it's hard to win games when you have turnovers that go over 20, especially when you're on the road. Coach Gillespie telling us, Cole for three. Wow! From the outside, the big fella. It's been an impressive second half for these Wildcats. Yeah, Abilene Christian has done a great job at spreading the ball out on offense in the scoring column. Not a single Wildcat has hit double figures yet, but a lot of players have scored. Cross-court pass. Miller back to Daniels, and another triple, the third of the night. Final six seconds will tick away at Abilene Christian, a 21-point win over Tarleton, and ACU is 5-0 for the second time in three years. Fun game tonight here in the Teague Center. Once again, the final score is Abilene Christian 69 and Tarleton. 48. This has been a presentation of the Southland Conference on ESPN. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. Until next time, Zach Carlisle, Owen Simpson. So long, take care. Good night from Abilene, Texas.